action news cameras rolling as an abandoned building collapses in on itself. It's not the first time a fire has happened here, but a fire of this size is making sure it'll be the last. We're not sure the cause of this fire, but Transient started the last fire in January. Fire Chief Gary Donis of the Fresno Fire Department told Action News crews the building is a total loss. The fire started at roughly 10.30 Saturday morning and crews were still containing the damage well into the evening. We're going to have excavators and heavy equipment basically tearing stuff out of here. Uh, so that's going to go all the way through the night. Public Information Officer Kobe Johns says the California Classic bike race near Chukchansi Park wasn't affected by the fire or smoke. And the Grizzlies game is going on as planned despite a power outage at the baseball field. PG&E is actively working with fire crews to turn off gas lines when it's safe. When the, one of the walls collapsed, uh, it, it snapped a gas line. So. You, you know, if you look behind me, there's basically free flowing gas. While firefighters were responding to the three alarm fire in downtown, crews were called out to another two alarm fire where two people were injured. Needless to say, it's been a busy Saturday for the Fresno Fire Department. You know, we have uh, at least 13 pieces of equipment here. We have 60 firefighters here on scene. This went to three alarms. We had to recall about 20 firefighters from off duty to come and backfill. It's unclear if any transients were inside the building when it started, but John says it's highly unlikely. Once the fire is out, we'll, can, we'll go through it and search the building for sure. But at this point, it's just not safe to do so.